Well guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And for this one, uh, this is for actually one of my subscribers that asked me this question a long time ago on a video. And it was um, David Young is the subscriber who asked what's worth taking from laptops. Now, if any of you have seen um, Shark Scrapper's video this week, or, um, I think it was the first video we put out during the week, uh, or last week now when you see this probably. But anyway, if you've seen Sharks, one of Sharks videos there, he went through the boards and sorting the boards for selling to board sort. Um, so this is video is similar to that, but not the same as I don't sell to board sort and I will be stripping down the boards further. So I wanted to show my subscribers. So for people that have not the opportunity, because in America, you will have the opportunity to sell your boards to board sort. But in other parts of the world, there is no board sort, so you have to rely on your scrapyards and stuff like that. But sometimes pricing from scrapyards is pretty poor, and you're already going to be getting shred prices. So if you like me and you want to get the most value from it, um, then you will break down the boards into different um, different components off the boards, essentially. And this video is to show you what components I take off the boards. And again, for David Young, I've done a selection of different stuff here. So I've got some PCs, uh, little desktop PCs type things. I have some newer type um, laptops, some older type laptops, and uh, a mixture of them all. As you can see here, there's all different types. Even this one has already I've started breaking this one down. So, um, and again, another IBM there and a Dell down here. So, I, in total, I have one, two, let's say three, four, five, six laptop and two PC units. So, um, I'm not gonna make you all sit through me stripping down um, the actual laptops. Uh, but because you would have seen this before, um, I've actually taken the laptops apart and stuff like that. I'm gonna to go to the stage of where we've got the boards out of the laptops. Um, so if you want to continue and want to see more of this content and um, learn, well not learn more, but see what I do. Um, I'm not saying I'm any expert, I'm just saying what I do. And again, if you're in the same boat as me, and you can't sell your boards and you want to know how to maximize the money from them, maybe break down the components and maybe do some research into trying to receive, uh, retrieve the precious metals or maybe you might find it easier to sell the actual chips and the um, pins and stuff online uh, but first you have to get to that stage and know what to take off the boards so if you don't mind guys please give a like um, at the end uh, after you watch the video through and um, maybe even think about subscribing if you're not a subscriber um, and um, we'll see once I take these apart what was inside them and then we'll go from there and I'll show you what components I take off and stuff like that. So um, let's see what boards are inside. Now guys, I've torn down the um, the laptops that I had there on the table. And um, as you can see, we have a lot of screws and stuff in there. Some more fell on the floor, but we'll have to pick them up later. Um, so here we are at the boards. So um, Dave Jung and anyone else may be interested in knowing what I take off the boards. Um, I'll show you here what I'll be looking to take off the boards. So, uh, one of the first things I always look for is the Gold Corner BGAs. Well, of course, one of the very first things I look for is the processors that will be in. Some of them will have processors in here. Uh, some of them will have integrated processors, which I'll come along to in a few minutes. But, um, so again that's one of the things i look to take off straight away as well ram you will find some ram in the slots um in some of the in some of the um uh laptops you pick up or some of the computers you'll pick up so this one here gold bga be something i'll be looking to take off uh, i also take these off um mlccs i'll be looking to take them off because some of them will have platinum silver hopefully the older the better um you have a wi-fi card in here uh which would be something similar to that one that slots in and gives you your uh wi-fi um on the uh laptop uh on the reverse side again i'll remove these because there's gold pins in here you can see the gold i'll remove them for the gold pins we've got more gold pins here that i'll be looking at more gold pins here i'll be looking to remove um you will have sometimes 
if you're lucky that can be gold which it is there um bring it up there there we go gold um flashed so you can keep an eye out for them as well on the boards see all these are little gold flash connectors i'll pull all them off um tantalums if you're into collecting the tantalums guys if you can get rid of the tantalums i pull them off but i've nowhere to get rid of them yet uh ic chips of course as you would have seen from my incineration where i was doing the mobile phone chips so far um, there'll be more videos coming on that yet but again i take off them ic chips um you'd have more chips along this side here again um, all them chips will be taken off so every board will vary on the amount of chips the amount of connectors stuff like that on it so i'd say i'd call that mm, maybe mid-grade um again if you want to get better grading on boards if that's what you're looking to sell boards uh your man for that the guys for that would be um shark scrapper uh e-waste mike uh board sort direct if you're in america and you are usa you want to um sell your boards you can do them directly to board sort and they'll tell you uh, values for boards so they have all the different categories of boards so what else are we then on the other board again more or less the same thing we'll have a few of the i'll remove these remove again this one has a lot more mlccs as you can see this was an older board i think by judging at it um so again there's an awful lot of mlccs on this that i'll take off uh, different methods for taking them off um, you can just run an air chisel across them um, some people use chisels just regular chisels heat guns um, multi-tools all different things i have a few videos up there on different ways i'll be removing them um, but that's what i'll be removing off these boards so all them mlccs nice collection of mlccs um, again gold corner bga uh, we had a cpu in there that i took off with all these mlccs again along here we have these ic chips tantalums um all that stuff will contain precious metals most of the time and um, so keep an eye out for that um, and let me have a look at this board this board again uh the gold corner bga again we had some ram in there that i took out and uh, this one is the one with the integrated um cpu on it so again worthless uh, as far as i'm concerned uh got a gold corner vga again this one had two had it yes so one on the back one on the front which is nice uh, again um as i don't sell these boards i don't really worry about grading them or separating them because again be gold pins uh all these will be coming off uh mlcc is not as many on this board now again here we have another Gold Corner BGA, some other chips. Uh, we had a CPU there and we had another bridging uh, chip there. Um, we have, again, where our RAM stuff was connected, we'll have gold flash pins in there, some more gold flash pins here. Uh, you have your yellow tantalums along here. Um, do we have any MLCCs? Probably people who are near, we go MLCCs, small MLCCs, not as good as some of the other boards for it and the back side of the board pretty slim bit of uh, again i'll remove for the gold pins possibly gold pins in here yeah you can see glint of gold in there um, and that's kind of it on that one then we have this is a very poor board to be honest uh, very little on it uh, again i'll remove that um, again we'll have to remove these a uh, few little chips here and there on it nothing to write home about backside no gold corner bg on it so again if i was grading that probably low grade board um maybe mid grade at most uh now this board was out of one of the newer laptops and as you can see very little on it um uh, we've got our um integrated uh cpu which was an i5 it said um on it which wasn't great to have an integrated one i was hoping for it not to be integrated we also have um more pins um other than that not really much there right these two boards were not part of the uh stuff i was stripping out i just brought them in from uh out in the bins so people can see some of the other stuff that you may have to keep an eye out on so you may come across cards like this in them which will have gold uh fingers 
so that's something that will be trimmed off and um, some of these what we call m ms a lot of people will have the right name for them but we always just call them in ms some of them will contain silver platinum possibly uh crystal oscillator again some silver in them usually you might find some gold ones i must actually show you some gold ones in a second um that's just one of the cards like a tv card or something that would be in the board again this is another uh good board so we've got some nice big chips Um, i have removed some chips already Um, again cold corner bga some more nice um chips on there remove your batteries guys if you're selling the boards Um, again we've got some tantalums in here uh, this one has has still got some ram attached to it that i haven't got around of taking out yet let's have a look at it if i can get it out it's a bit awkward with the camera in my way and uh, get a screwdriver and flick that clips that are holding it mm, doesn't want to come out where's my pliers bury the pliers anyhow forget about it we'll we'll go to this one on the corner maybe he might want to come out a bit more so no doesn't want to um i need to the camera's just awkward for doing it and i'm leaning over the camera and trying to push the clips at the side here which I'll try and do again i just don't want to give in do i Ara, hell give in put it aside for a minute okay so that was another type of board again this board has the ram on it still has to come off uh, some nice big uh, intel ic chips um gold pins in here that i'll be removing um no really mlccs on it uh, back of it nothing great but i said i'd show you guys some um gold ceramic oscillator so let me just find some here on a board and then we'll um i think it's on this board you can't see it in my hand but was it this board i seen them on do, 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 do. <laughs> no, it wasn't this board. Okay, so we can put that one aside. Let me have a look at this board. Sorry, guys, I'm not showing it in front of you. It's just easier to than looking through the camera to find it. Not on that one. Uh, was it on this board? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to be on this board either. We're running out of boards. It's on one of the boards I've seen them. And I said I must mention that when I come to it, but of course, when I want to show it, will it show up for me? Will it hell? <laughs> anyhow, I don't see it on unless it's on this last board, and um, then I've don't know where I've seen it. Maybe I imagined that I've seen it. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, the reverse side. No, cannot find it when I want to find it, of course. But there is what they call ceramic um, crystal oscillators. People will call them ceramic crystal oscillators. And um, they um, will have a little gold band around them. And um, of course, I can't find it when I want to find it. Um, so that disappoints me. But anyhow, guys, um, tell me, again, it was, or not tell me, but um, this video is for people who break down their boards more and want to know what's on the boards rather than um, selling their boards because some people sell their boards and other people break them down. Depending on where you are, again, the most value you're going to get is by selling the boards whole to a company like Boards or something like that. Again, even uh, chips like that, i5 chips they'll buy. Um, give you good money on them, get a lot more than you will from trying to that I from trying to get the gold from them. Um, so they'll they'll give you more value if they're working, uh, than what their their worth is in gold. So that's just something to remember. Um, this video is for people who don't have that option. Now I found that crystal oscillator that I was on about, and there it is. So you can see the gold band around the outside of it. And uh, that one there will contain gold usually. So again, it's another source of gold on the boards to keep an eye for. Um, 
my method of getting them off probably will be the heat gun at the moment or I might use the multi-tool to do get a lot of that stuff off um, but it's all up to yourself what way you want to do it yourself um, and again down in the comments guys tell me what do you take off the boards why not tell me what you take off the boards do you take anything off the boards do you sell the boards complete uh, do you sell them to your scrapyard as if do you plan on depopulating the boards are you just collecting them up at the moment and haven't decided what to do uh, when you depopulate them what do you do with the stuff do you put them in little jars keep them in containers uh, to process at a later date or maybe sell on ebay uh, stuff like that um, again the the ram do you collect it up sell it what do you do with it your your chips what do you do with that don't forget you'll also get hard drives guys there will be hard drives in a lot of these laptops so you can see i picked out a lot of hard drives the boards again if you're in america you the, you can sell the hard drives hold to board sort and you can sell the boards only to board sort stuff like that so you have a lot more options in in the usa than you do in like canada or ireland in england european countries when it comes to the boards uh, don't forget there'll also be aluminium so off your off your um, heat sinks you might get copper you might get aluminium on them and um, so that all adds up it's all another value so you can clean that up again you can put in this dirty al aluminum whatever um, you have will have so much you will have you can see here we have copper so you can cut that off cut it off here again and um, try and separate it from the aluminium if you want and you can get a better price for your copper and um, you have your fans for your motors so there's a lot of stuff inside laptops and inside pcs that you can make money from and um, and that's just a little bit of what i look for on the boards not everyone will go to the detail of taking everything off the board what i do some people will cherry pick some people just take off the gold corner pga some people might just take off um all the gold corners and the ic chips um, some people will go into the MLCCs, but I go to everything. I clean the board clean, and um, then there's all left is the board to be put into the recycling bins, um, and everything else I sort and put into jars to be refined at a later date. So, guys, thanks for watching, as always, really appreciate it. And um, till the next video, keep on looking for that gold. And David Young, I hope that helped you out a bit. I'm wondering what is worthwhile taking off in laptops. Again, you're in America, so maybe just sell them whole to a uh, board sort or maybe to another uh, e-waste scrapper who might give you some money for them. So thanks for watching and um, catch you on the next one, guys.